May I request all the congregations to stand as the procession enters the chapel. Faculty like graduate, they are now looking at me for it. Can survive any loading up? This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let us worship God by singing the hymn, God of grace and God of glory. May I request the congregation to stand up as we sing.
shall we look to God in prayer? Let us pray. Gracious God, the source of all life, whose love endures forever, we praise and adore you as AICS brings another academic year to a close. We are reminded of your mercies renewed every day. We celebrate your faithfulness in the lives of the graduating class of 2024. Be glorified in, your, in our celebration. Lead us and bless us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Good afternoon to you all. I am happy to see you here today. Thank you very much for your coming to AICS to take part in our celebration of God's faithfulness to AICS. We are blessed so much with your presence here in our midst. We are here this afternoon to celebrate God's faithfulness and say farewell to our graduates of this year. This is a proud moment for us, not only for the graduates and their families. It is also a proud moment of AICS because of your presence. Despite of the fact that the AICS is very young, we are becoming more mature, and our academic program follows the vision of our former BCM leaders and principals. We, must, we want to stimulate and develop our students' intellectuality, their creativity, and their ministerial or discipleship skills here in AICS. We want also our students to develop their commitment to an interdisciplinary approach that enables them to cope with innovation and contribute to socio-religious and economic and political problem in our society. More important, is to be more meaningful, effective, and fruitful instruments of our Christian ministry, particularly BCM ministry through AICS. Before we proceed on to our introduction and welcome, by the way, uh, this morning I received a call from our General Secretary and he's also our Theological Education Committee Secretary, Reverend R. Biak, Lal Biak Liana, and sends me best wishes and greetings to all of us who are gathering here. He is now going to Arunachal Pradesh. His program and this program is being coincided because of which he couldn't make himself available to be here. Tlom ngay takin kan som na te in ron tih lo ting te hi kan lo mem e mani voy na hiyan nang ma ni kan som te in lo kalavang hiyan he program hi a lo ting ani
Thank you so much. The song they have sung was composed by one of our pastors, uh, Reverend Arze Lalnun Puya, who is pastoring in Farcon area, he, who is the son of our speaker today. Hello, <clears throat> Puya, and I'm also very proud of being the uh, uh, former pastor in um, 30 years ago. And ten and Let's join in thanking God. Wherever there is written response, the congregation please join with us. Let us thank God for the manifold blessings, for your marvelous work in creation, in earth, sky, and sea. We thank you, O God. For your Son Jesus Christ, our Savior who reconciled us to partake in the resurrected life and call us as co-worker in ministry to be reconciled and in fellowship with others. We thank you, O oh God. For all that is gracious in the life of women and men, revealing the image of Christ. We thank you. For the Baptist Church of Mizoram, the Theological Education Committee of the Baptist Church of Mizoram and its ministry through AICS. For the members of the faculty at AICS who mentored and saved these women and men graduating today. We thank you, O oh God. For the graduates of Bachelor of Divinity, Master of Divinity, Diploma in Mission Studies, Diploma in Church Music, and Master of Theology programs of 2024, who have successfully completed their training for their contribution to the life and ministry of AICS. We thank you, O oh God. For the communion of saints, and especially those who labor in fellowship with the ministry of AICS, we thank you. Let us join together. All praise, honor, and glory be to you, now and forevermore. Amen. <clears throat> Principal Sir, respected valedictory speaker, my fellow teachers, invitees and families and friends, it is indeed a great privilege for me to speak on behalf of the college faculty today. We are thankful to the Almighty God for he has enabled us to successfully arrange this key annual event as the academic session 2023 to 2024 closes. At the outset, I'd like to extend my sincere gratitude to the valedictory speaker, Reverend R. Lalnunzira, Associate General Secretary of the BCM, for he has spared time from his hectic schedule to grace this occasion. We believe he is one of the most suitable candidates to deliver valedictory address at this event, not only for being a leader of BCM, but also for being our former faculty colleague here. Since its inception, AICS has been collaborated with friends and well-wishers, and we are delighted to see some of these individuals today attending our program. We are extremely grateful to see faculty members representing theological and other institutions here in Aizol City. And apart from these friends, we are encouraged by the presence of ministers and other church leaders of the Baptist Church of Mizoram, who always play crucial roles in the formation, smooth running, and progress of our college. Once again, we, the faculty members, are happy to meet some family members and friends of the graduating students. You have been so special and so supportive to us all these years, basically because of these students who bind us together. And we are hopeful that this existing connection between us would remain even after these students graduated. And I have a lot to say about our esteemed students of graduating classes. Looking back those years we have spent together with you, we appreciate 
all of you for your participations and contributions to the community lives. Despite some hard tasks, sadness and grief that you have encountered in your studies, at the end of it all, you have completed this part of journey with remarkable improvements and beautiful memories. We are proud of your many achievements over the years, your various accomplishments in almost all curriculum and extracurriculum activities, your brilliant achievements in academic discourse are acknowledged, along with your upkeeping of vibrant worship life, which is enriched by your zeal and musical expertise, your enthusiasm in sports, social work, and other activities are invaluable for the sustenance of a dynamic community life. We appreciate you. We appreciate that you have left behind a very good legacy for the juniors and incoming students to follow. Meanwhile, <clears throat> there are a couple of regrets we have with you. Firstly, the period we are supposed to be together with some of you at the campus has been reduced to several months. The outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic and the subsequent lockdown delayed especially BD and MD classes to join us physically. And it is disappointing because I am certain that you would have contributed much more if those bleak years had not occurred. However, we are happy that your good reputations and the memories of you would remain in our hearts. Secondly, as teachers, sometimes some of us would have been hard on you. Please remember, being tough with you at times does not mean that we hate your set, but to prepare you for a greater challenge ahead and to nurture you to build a strong foundation for your next encounter. To conclude, it is our sincere hope and expectation that you would continue to be friends and ambassadors of the AICS. We understand not only your families, but also your respective churches and your uh, communities eagerly await your service, hence to render your service everywhere to everybody, to transform the ills of the society and to light the darkness in your surroundings, the AICS Faculty Council wishes you all the best to you all. Thank you. Now we come to the presentation of prizes. There are two categories of prizes, book prizes and proficiency prizes. Book prizes are given to those who secure the highest aggregate in a particular cluster or subject. There are nine book prizes. One, Mowali Memorial Prize that is given to MTH New Testament Branch. Two, Mowali Memorial Prize, BD Biblical Cluster. These two prizes are donated by Dr. C. Chemtila Sangtam and her family in memory of their later brother, Mawali. I would like to thank the family, even though they are not here with us. Three, theologic cluster. Four, religion cluster. Five, history mission cluster. Six, ministry cluster. Seven, integrated and interdisciplinary. Eight, non-credit papers. And nine, preaching prize. Before we give away the book prizes, let me first read out the names of the winners. Mowali Memorial Prize, MTH New Testament, goes to Ms. D. Alam Lehoy. Two, Mowali Memorial Prize, BD Biblical Cluster, goes to Mr. Lal Rat Sangha Chachuak. Theology Cluster Prize also goes to Mr. Lalrot Sangha Chatuak. Religion Cluster Prize goes to two persons, Mr. Andrew Larem Sangha Ralte and Ms. Sivyel Ompujeli. 
History Mission Cluster prize goes to two persons, Ms. Siviel Ompuizeli and Lalrot Sanga Chachuak. Ministry Cluster prize goes to Mr. Lalrot Sanga Chachuak. Integrated and interdisciplinary prize goes to two persons, Ms. Siviel Ompuizeli and Mr. Lalrot Sanga Chachuak. Non-credit paper prize goes to Mr. Lalrot Sanga Chachuak. Preaching prize goes to Mr. E.H. Vanlal Monpuya. May I invite our valedictory speaker, Reverend R. Lanunzira, AGS Service BCM, to give away the book prizes. Yeah, you can stand uh, in the middle. I shall also call the names of the prize winners. And as I call, please come and receive your prizes. Ms. D. Alamna Hoy. Winner of the Mowali Memorial Prize, MTH New Testament. Mr. Lalrot Sanga Chachuak, winner of the Mowali Memorial Prize, BD Biblical Cluster, Theological Cluster Prize, Ministry Cluster Prize, Non Credit Paper Prize, co winner of the History Mission Cluster Prize, and Integrated Interdisciplinary Prize. Mr. Andrew Lalim Sanga Ralte, co-winner of the Religion Cluster Prize. <laughs> Ms. Siviel Ompuizeli, co-winner of the Religion Cluster Prize, co-winner of the History Mission Cluster Prize, and co-winner of the Integrated and Interdisciplinary Prize. Mr. E. H. Vanlal Monpuya, winner of the Preaching Prize. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You may take your seat. Proficiency prizes are given in recognition of an outstanding academic performance in a particular course of study. And there are four proficiency prizes, which are called after the names of the donor's relatives. One, Reverend Dr. S. L. Sainuna Memorial Proficiency Prize is given in recognition of an outstanding academic performance in BD studies. This prize is donated by Mr. Moses Lalrotlua Silo and family. Upa Kwangzika and Hrang Nuni Memorial Proficiency Prize, which is donated by Pu K. Malsoman family, is given in recognition of an outstanding academic performance in MDiv studies, Master of Divinity. The third is Upa Kumtira. Memorial Proficiency Prize is given in recognition of an outstanding academic performance in MTH Studies, Master of Theology. The prize is donated by Reverend Dr. Andrew Lalmangaya and family. The fourth, Reverend C. Dotanga Memorial AICS Award is awarded for best exemplifying the AICS ethos and spirit of holistic ministry from the graduating class. This prize is donated by Reverend P.C. Lalropuya and family. We sincerely thank all the donors of these prizes. May I invite Reverend Dr. C. Van Landiga, the principal of EICS, to hand over the proficiency prizes. Winners may come and receive your prizes as I call your names. Reverend Dr. S.L. Sainuna, Memorial Proficiency Prize goes to Mr. Lalrot Sanga Chachuak. <laughs> 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 
Upa Kwangzika and Shrangnuni Memorial Proficiency Prize goes to Mr. Lalma Stroya. Upa Kumtira Memorial Proficiency Prize goes to two persons. Mr. Nam Tamrai Sarai. <laughs> and Ms. Tekeview Tsuzu. Reverend Dotanga Memorial AICS Award goes to Mr. Israel Lalram Lopuya. Thank you. Oletuna Zuan can zero lie, girls walk to te, diploma, a certificate, Lana, can they don't any. Now we come to conferring diplomas and giving away certificates to the graduating students, beginning with Master of, Theologica, Master of Theology, Bachelor of Divinity, Master of Divinity, Diploma in Mission Studies, and Diploma in Christian Music, Church Music. May I request the Principal Reverend Dr. C. Van Lodika to confer diplomas and also to give away the certificates. Master of Theology, New Testament and History of Christianity. As I call your name, kindly stand from where you are. MTH New Testament, D. Alam Lehoy, D. Sheveni. MTH History of Christianity, Alex Lotha. Si Lalrin Mwana, Dichuan Ngam Gonmei, Ezoto Puro, Namtam Rai Cherai, Tekeviu Suzu, Sebe Wiza. I present to you, sir, these students who have satisfactorily completed the courses prescribed by the Senate of Serampur College for the degree of Master of Theology and fulfill the rules and regulations laid down by the Theological Education Committee, Baptist Church of Mizoram for diploma in Master of Theology. By virtue of the power and authority vested in me by the Theological Education Committee of the Baptist Church of Mizoram, I hereby confer you diploma in Master of Theology. Kindly come forward to receive your certificates. D. Alam Lehoy. D. Ashivini. Alex Lotha. Silalrin Mwana. D. 
Don chewing gum gone me. Ezoto puro. Nam tam rai chai. Take a view, Suzu. Sebe Wiza. Please take your seats. Bachelor of Divinity, graduating students are requested to stand as I read out your names. Andrew Lalram Sanga, C. Lalmai Tuonga, C. V. L. Umpuizeli, Dan Ombro, David Langdon Taradarlong, Dipuang, Douglas Tandia, Gospel Vandal Rinchana, H. Lal Chandami, E. H. Vandal Mwanpuya, Israel Lal Ram Luapuya, Jang Min Len Haukip, K. Lal Berro Rel Puya, Lal Ruat Sang Chak Chuak, Lal Sang Lura Keng Lot, Matthew Riyame, R. Lal Rin Tluanga, Tinon di lal ming sanga, van lal huay zela, zo ming sangi, Benjamin lal rem tlinga, H lal muan zuala, J van lal muan zuali, Ferdinand Boya. I present to you, sir, the students who have satisfactorily completed the courses prescribed by the Senate of Serampur College for the degree of Bachelor of Divinity and fulfill the rules and regulations laid down by the Theological Education Committee, Baptist Church of Mizoram, for diploma in Bachelor of Divinity. By virtue of power and authority vested in me, by the Theological Education Committee of the Baptist Church of Mizoram, I hereby confer you Diploma in Bachelor of Divinity. Please come forward to receive your certificate as I call your names. Andrew Lorem Sang Aralte. C. Lal Mangai Tluanga. C. V. L. Mpui Zeli. Dan Omro. David Lal Nuntara Darlong. <laughs> Deep Wang. <laughs> Douglas Tandia. Gospel Vandal Rinchana.
एड्स लल्सन दमी ई एड्स वानल मोन पुया Israel Lalram Luapuya Jang Bin Len Hao Kip Kail Albert Rourel Puya Lalruat sang at sakchuak. Lal sang lura keng lot. Matthew Riyame. R. Lalrin Tluanga. T. Nondi Lalming Sanga. Vandal Fuaizela. Zhou Ming Sangi. Benjamin Lal Rem Klinga. H. Lal Muan Zuala. J. Van Lal Muan Zuali. Ferdinand Bohia. Kindly take your seats. Now I shall request Master of Divinity graduating students to stand as I read out your names. Sirim Ruatpuya, Lal Mashwaya, Nam Thiu Rai Bu Abon Mai, Piti Lal Eng Liani, ZD Lal Zar Zovi. I present to you, sir, these students who have satisfactorily completed the prescribed courses and fulfilled the rules and regulations laid down by the Theological Education Committee, Baptist Church of Mizoram, for diploma in Master of Divinity. By virtue of the power and authority vested in me by the Baptist Church of Mizoram Theological Education Committee, I confer you diploma in Master of Divinity. Please come forward to receive your certificates. Sirem Ruat Puya. Lal Mashwaya. Nam Thiu Rai Bu Abon Mai.
piti lal engli ani zeddi lal zarzuvi Please take your seats. I shall now request a diploma in mission studies students to stand as I call your names. C. Vanlal Soma, M. C. Lal Matswani, Lal Khyat Puya Changte, Priscilla Vanlal Engmoi. I present to you, sir. These students who have satisfactorily completed the prescribed courses and fulfilled the rules and regulations laid down by the Theological Education Committee, Baptist Church of Mizoram, for Diploma in Mission Studies. By virtue of the power and authority vested in me by the Theological Education Committee of the Baptist Church of Mizoram, I hereby confer you Diploma in Mission Studies. Please come to receive your certificates. C. Vanlal Soma. <clears throat> M. C. Lal Matswani. Lalshiat Puya Changte, Priscilla Vanlal Engmoi, Please take your seats. Finally, we come to Diploma in Church Music. I shall request Diploma in Church Music students to stand as I call your names. Isai Lal Nunzwala, Lal Nezova, Lal Rongbola Fanai. I present to you, sir, these students who have satisfactorily completed the prescribed process and fulfill the rules and regulation laid down by the Theological Education Committee, Baptist Church of Mizoram, for diploma in church music. By virtue of the power and authority vested in me by the Theological Education Committee, Baptist Church of Mizoram, I hereby confer you diploma in church music. Please come to receive your certificates. Isai Lal Nunzwala. Lal Nezova. Lal Rongbola Fanai. You may take your seats. Ola kazong ka aniya. Nzafai chunga long tu kan se. Thank you all. We shall now dedicate our graduates to God.
And may I ask all of you to stand from your seat. I would like to ask the congregation to read the response as it is printed. Let us dedicate these graduates to the glory of the Taiwan God. To proclaim the gospel to all nations, to teach, guide, and empower your people. to promote love, peace, justice, and righteousness, to liberate in the power of the gospel. For the preservation and coexistence of all, to love and serve all of creation. To show love amid hatred, faith amid doubt, hope amid despair, light amid darkness, Joy amid sadness, that they may not seek to be consoled as to console, to be loved as to love, to be pardoned as to pardon. Please be seated. I'd like to request the congregation to respond by saying What is that? Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. After each reading. The Old Testament lesson is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verses 13 and 14. Isaiah 29, verses 13 and 14. The Lord said, Because this people draw near with their mouths and honor me with their lips, while their hearts are far from me, and their worship of me is a human commandment learned by rote. So I will again do amazing things with this people, shocking and amazing. The wisdom of the wise shall perish, and the discernment of the discerning shall be hidden. This is the word of God. We shall continue to read the word of God from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verse 12. Acts chapter 4, verse 12. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. This is the word of God. We shall now call upon our chief guest, our speaker. But before I call upon him, I would like to express our sincere thanks to him on behalf of faculty, staff, students, and the entire community of AICS. Reverend R. Lanun Zira, Associate General Secretary, Service of the Baptist Church of Mizoram. Please, may I request, sir, to stand up from your seat. Shall we give him a round of applause? Please be seated. When we sent invitation, he graciously accepted our humble request to be our speaker today. But today I'm very sorry for not having sufficient English vocabulary to express our heartfelt gratitude to our speaker for his presence in our midst today. I and Reverend Zira has, have been known each other since 1990 when I joined Haolong Pastorate as their pastor. In those days, he was 
TKP secretary in their unit, Lam Tuam Tum unit, and later he became pastorate TKP secretary. Today I'm very proud to say after he finished his BD studies, he was my pro pastor. But now he became my superior in the BCM. Thank you so much, sir, for coming here. Fell Takaniakan speaker here. TKP and it light for a TKP Tataka Ruaya Adu Tuan, Talaite, Nuizasium Puitium, and Anni, to Soitium Boxiania. And after having been a pastor in different pastorates, he was elected as NEICC secretary for two terms. And now he becomes NEICC president. He is also one of the senators of the Senate of the Serampur College University. Apart from this, all responsibilities at present he is a convener of drafting committee for Mizoram Church Council, which is under the process. He is a successful pastor and a good preacher. Therefore, we are very much fortunate to have him here as our speaker today. Let us welcome our speaker with another round of applause. Sir, please take your time. Respected principal, faculty members, and special invitees, and distinguished guests, and especially to the graduating students today, greetings in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I also extend warm greetings on behalf of the Baptist Church of Mizoram. And today, I also bring greetings from our General Secretary, Reverend Alal Biakliana, and Reverend Dr. Alal Tanmoya, who is the Associate General Secretary Mission when I received invitation from the principal to be the dignified valedictory speaker today, I know that the invitation is very, a very, very special offer from the college authority. And because of that, I'm afraid to decline, even though I am not so much worthy, and accept it with thanks to this privilege. And as of now, I stand before you with thankful heart and appreciation. And today also I extend my thanks because for being able to come back through AICS authority to AICS, which is a home for me and for my family uh, 16 years back. I was very much involved in the AICS activity as a teaching faculty member and also to the Gilead, Gilead Baptist Church here, the local church attached, in which we are attached and the YMA of Tuivamit uh, Ramrikon, in which I was also one of the executive committee member, uh, committee member in YMA branch here. So I am very happy to be back today and stand before you. I would like to address with a very concise note, but I don't know whether I will be able to do it or not. So please pray for me. I would like 
to say three important things for today's address. And at the very outset, I would like to point out the importance of this institution, Academy of Integrated Christian Studies, and also how it has been resourcing in various ways and means. As we all know, AICS belongs to the Baptist Church of Mizoram, incepted in 2000 only. The graduates of AICS started to enter into the pastoral ministry of Baptist Church of Mizoram since 2004. And as of now, 118 AICS graduates out of 181 active pastors and probationary pastors are AICS graduates. They are almost two-third majority of the present active pastors and probationary pastors in the Baptist Church of Mizoram. These pastors are engaging in different ways and main ministries. One is right now engaging in the headquarters, and two are working as a chaplain. Six are teaching in theological colleges and Bible school. Ten are doing their further study, doctoral study and master study. And 19, AIS, oh, 13 are field director working as a missionaries. And 68 are pastors and 18 are probationary pastors within Mizoram. Apart from this, 19 AICS graduates, non-pastor from BD, MTH, and MEMDIF streams are working in various departments of Baptist Church of Mizoram. Even in this AICS as a faculty member, as assistant professor, as such, AICS graduates are serving in various capacities. Some are pastors, others are church administrator, administrators, and others are missionaries and teachers. How immense is the importance of AICS, if you think? particularly in the Baptist Church of Mizoram Pastoral Ministry Department. I'm sure that 100, soon 100% 100 of BCM pastor will be AICS graduates. And also looking at the outside of BCM circle, a good percentage of Brew Baptist Church pastors are AICS graduates. Similarly, Chakma Baptist Church pastors as well. Besides, some graduates of AICS, both from BD and MTH or MDF streams, from our sister churches like in LIKA BK, UPC, and like the churches in Arunachal, Nagaland, Myanmar, Manipur, some are engaging in ministry in their respective churches. And also another fruitful programs run by AICS are missionary training courses as you have we have witnessed today. Some of our graduates received a diploma in mission studies. And lately the, lately the SIP training programs for some years, ministerial training for probationary pastors and pastor refresher course charge music training, and also research and development programs. Above all, there will be a time, I hope, that AICS graduates would go out into a wider context, serving in a wider perspective, exploring and involving and serving God through ecumenical circle, nationally or globally, because there is no enough rooms to single denomination like in BCM or other churches. And moreover, this is a, a very big challenge for the graduating students. 
Mizotangi kan soi lokanga BCM sponsor pastor a uh, graduate to graduate ho te ka big tak ka country du chu chu BCM pastoral ministry a hian pastor te lathin ma ila AICS atanga graduate zong zong te hi kan la seng talo wadi pastor panga kan lockdown to min somli panga tanga somnga applicant del tu kan neya aha thak m m mayane chuwang chuan achang chuan vui deu nate voi thum voi li han dil to nu chuan chung te po vui vai nate a ko khan theng po support tu le local cha theng po nga ti bi nge ti na question te po hi a um thi na khongai takin chutiang ril ru chu pu su u pastoral committee hian adu sak lo wang ni la vin khan anga ya khan lo anom thi na fair tak le dikte yang perakan proper provisionary pastor tur te hi la kan ni thi na lak in lo ni kum in lo ni lo kum tluan the kum khua the then lak har tak po in lo ni the voi vai na le enge mo anga ngai to alo ram tur po in ka nge du chawa tin chu ba ka ka soyang khan he mi kan comfort area mizoram pon mizoram atanga kal chua ka theological graduate te hi ecumenical circle le Christian NGO rang rang a rong bon da le in ta khriam na tur tam tak a oma chung te chu kal chua ngam turin ka nge du chevani chu chu ve na hia na big takin BCM sponsor student te BCM sponsor graduate te lung lo wa lo la su u than lo in lo ni po in ti kha ka han soi du a tu na phei chuan kan si thi full ti ti to a pastoral department chuan kum khata panga aye tam lak to lo tur photina atiya chu po chu panga zel chu kan la theya ngem ti po chu ngai to tham takaniya voinia hian chung te chu min riat sak turin no le pa lo kal te poin a kan han in riat tir du a kan han ngen du chevani therefore it is really certain that your influences impacts the quality of your theological education and the quality of your theological understanding and even as the moral and spiritual values you acquired during your AICS period would be very important for the extension of God's reign. So people expect to see the truth through you. Will people be sincere, just spiritual, persevere, and most of all, will they love God through your influences? That is a big question and a big challenge I would like to address, particularly to the graduating student today. You are about to set an example by being theologically trained person. And my second point is, the world we are facing right now, we need to encounter with the truth. Thutak. Kan chen na khovel hi an ahmad chonda tru la. Thutak khriya tir tu po kan mamo to ani. The text that we have just read from the book of Isaiah, we have heard about that drawing near with the mouth or honoring God with lips, not with heart. To me, this, the key point of this Bible passage is, for today's language, we are living in the world of virtual life. You all know the first, what is virtual life and real life. So we are living in a computer age. We are experiencing virtual life, and virtual life is very much affecting our present generation. So, virtual means not physically existing as such, but computer-based stimulated 
environment. So people are sending the avatar of their life, not the real life. We are depicting our life, not our real life, the virtual life. We are living in the world of virtual life. That is really affecting and meaningful in our today's life. The picture you post in social media sites, the picture you post in your status will be, is it, I ask you, is it the real life you show to the people? It is not. Many of the time we did not show our real life. We, we show the virtual life that we are living with. Today I would like to give a warning or a kind of um, um, imperative that we have to, to encounter with the truth. So sometimes we put in our stage status the picture of our conference or the picture of family meeting. We are happily joining our shoulders, laughing together, and these things are always happening. But in reality, is it the life you are living with? The conference we are living with is not so much spiritual or sometimes we are not so much enjoy. But the picture we show is very much happy picture. That is the way we are depicting in our lives. So Dr. Tarkle, clinical psychologist, says, a virtual life is a shiny and bright. It's where you post your prettiest pictures and tell your best news. And I definitely think that social media has had a very deep impact on our lives. The world that we see in the Facebook and other social media sites is not a true and real world. It is a creation of people. That is what they uh, make a comment to the present generation's life. So while we look shiny and living with the virtual world and living in the fantasy world of virtual life, our true self may be feel utterly alone sometimes. This is the point exactly where we need to encounter with the true, the truth, our real self with the truth. Theological education to my assumption is a pilgrimage embarking on into the truth, into the infinite glory of the triune God. Let me quote from Mad Christianity, a book of C.S. Lewis, a famous lay Christian, Christian theologian. Quote, theology is like a map. If you want to get any further, you must use the map, unquote. Now we got the map. Theology is how we can reveal the truth with the knowledge and understanding that we have. That is a map, according to C.S. Lewis. You are theologically trained now Start your pilgrimage. Reveal the truth to the people. Help the people to live with their real life and to encounter with the truth. And in John Gospel 4, 24, it is Jesus said, God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. This passage in simple way means we must worship God with our whole true being. Truth, aletheia in Greek, in other words mean removing the veil or unconcealment or removing all the covers or so to say in short, naked. That is what God demands to encounter with him. So the, the present the generation and the present world that we are living needs theologically trained people who got the map and who can help the people. So this is very important challenge that we have today. And my second point or third point and my last point is proclaim the message of 
Christ. Proclaim the message of Christ. It is very, very much imperative on the part of theological graduates to fully and clearly grasp the uniqueness of Christ. The message, the purpose of Christ coming into this world, that is the message of salvation. This is very important. There are theological, lots of theological approaches that you have gone through the, during your theological training, like theocentric approaches, anthropocentric approaches, existentialism, liberation approaches, and the like. But I must say today, Christocentric theology should be the superior one that guides us, that guides us and yet not avoiding other approaches. Because the Bible is very much Christocentric. Bible he isua laipui nani. Isua Christa he atung nungani ti puan chua he atul em emani no lay strong, strong to name, may take. Ma say, let it be your theological presentation should be Christocentric. Because the Bible is very much Christocentric. Many passages in the Old Testament, if you turn your Old Testament, pointed to the coming of Christ. For example, the Ark of Noah, the salvation, and the lamb killed in the Passover, the bronze serpent lifted in the wilderness, and many of the messages of the prophets proclaim the coming of Christ. And also the four gospels are so much Christocentric. The four gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John's are very much Christocentric. The epistles in the New Testament are very much Christocentric. The beginning of the New Testament church, the Pentecostal revival movement is very much Christocentric. The text that we have read from the books of the, the Acts of the Apostles show that Christ is the supreme authority. He is the only salvation. And there is no salvation in no one. As we have read, there is no other name under heaven. That is what the Pentecostal church proclaim. Sometimes our theological journey can misguide us into a beast. So please be careful. The name Christian itself is taken from the name of Christ. If you are a Christian, if we are a Christian, you should or you must spread or proclaim the message of Christ because Christ is only our savior our Redeemer and our Sustainer. May God bless the message that we have presented for all of us. Amen. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for your encouraging message and thought-provoking. <clears throat> it is very interesting to note that who do you think older, our speaker or myself, Zari, myself? We are same age, born on the same date, our speaker, 3rd October. We were born on 3rd October in the second part of 20th century. <coughs> we shall now have the prayer of consecration. May I request all the graduates to stand 
Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for the graduating class of 2024. As they open a new chapter in their journey of faith, grant them clarity to follow your call. Grant them wisdom to strive for peace and justice. Strengthen them to preach the gospel. Empower them to carry out the mission to which you have called them. To that end, we consecrate them for the task and responsibility entrusted to them. To the glory of your holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Respected Speaker, Reverend Arla Nunzira, AGS Service, our Principal, Reverend Dr. C. Vanaldika, distinguished faculty members, honored guests, beloved families, and my fellow graduates, greetings in the name of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As we stand on the threshold of this momentous occasion, we bid farewell to our beloved AICS with a mix of nostalgia, excitement, and perhaps a sense of anxiety. Today is the result of years of hard work, devotion, and innumerable memories that have made us the people we are now. I am honored and glad that I can stand here to give this speech as the winner of Reverend Dr. S. L. Sainuna Memorial Proficiency Prize. This is the marvelous work of our living God. I offer my thanks and praise to God from whom all blessings flow. It is through God's grace and guidance that I have been able to pursue my studies, to grow in knowledge and understanding, and to discern my vocations with clarity and purpose. I am grateful for the gift of faith that sustains me, for the opportunity to serve God and God's people, and for the countless blessings that fill my life each day. I extend my deepest gratitude to our faculty for your tireless dedication to excellence and your passion for teaching, and also to my family and loved ones who are the greatest supporters in this journey, their unceasing prayer, motivations, and financial needs. As we gather to commemorate this significant milestone in our journey, we are filled with a sense of reverence for the path that has led us to this moment. We are thankful to the leaders of Baptist Church of Mizoram and the Theological Education Committee for their trust and support throughout our stay here on this campus. Through their given sponsorship, many of the students able to pursue their education here at this institution. We owe an immense debt of appreciation to our prestigious professors and mentors who have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of knowledge and wisdom. In addition to teaching us about the rich complexity of theological thinking, you have pushed us to critically think, wrestle with our faith, and pursue the truth with unshakable conviction. Our education has been built on your leadership, support, and steadfast dedication to our academic and spiritual development. We sincerely appreciate the knowledge you have shared and the role model you have been. Our esteem of your staff and beloved community members, your tireless commitment to work and unending generosity light our way throughout this company. Your influence is felt tremendously by us, from the busy workplaces and your homes, where you labor hard to see it to that our needs are satisfied to the dynamic neighborhood where you plant the seeds of compassion and harmony. We extend our sincere gratitude to our family and loved ones for their everlasting love and support. We have been strengthened by your sacrifices, your support, and your prayers as we have faced both challenges and successes in our academic endeavors. You have been our unfailing supporters, supporting us throughout our successes and providing comfort during our setbacks. We take with us the lessons you have taught us about love, faith, and perseverance as we stand on the verge of a new chapter. 
We have come a long way to reach this far, even though there were times we thought of giving up. At a point, we were either disappointed in the careers had, we had chosen or disappointed in our future. But little did we know that we were on the way to our individually destined successes, and if it were not for Jesus, we might give up. It makes today something to rejoice about. We occasionally had to deal with health issues, sleepless nights, restless days, exhaustion, frequent quizzes, financial restraints, tantril power failures, the hot and humid weather, and the scarcity of water. For some of us, acquiring knowledge during our education was an extremely difficult task, coming from different backgrounds with limited linguistic skills, having difficulty in making our answers to our professor's questions even as yes or no. And we should not disregard the peculiar hours we were required to attend class lectures. We have explored the depths of scripture together, wrestled with theological ideas, and had stimulating conversations that have deepened our comprehensions of God's grace and the complexity of the conditions of humanity. We have created ties of mutual support and affection that goes beyond these sacred pathways. Let us take with us the common principles of justice, compassion, and service that have been the cornerstones of our theological educations as we get ready to set off on our individual journey. As we bid farewell to AICS, let us remember that our theological educations is not merely an academic pursuit, but a sacred vocation that calls us to a life of service and discipleship. Let us carry with us the teachings of our faith, the wisdom of our tradition, and the spirit of inquiry that has guided our theological exploration. And let us go forth with courage, compassion, and a deep trust in the divine providence that sustains us on our journey. AICS, we thank you for the love and affection we received thus far. May the divine presence of our living God, Shekinah, be with us all. Thank you and God bless. We shall now stand and sing the hymn, All to Jesus I Surrender All. Lakan <laughs>
the world to uphold what is true, to strive for what is just, and in doing so pursue whatever is pure, whatever is pleasing, whatever is commendable, and the God of peace be with you. God, we trust you. Now the blessing of the Creator, the Redeemer, and the Sustainer be always with the graduates of 2024 and with all of us forever and ever. Amen.